Okay, just wanted to do another little short video on this passive probe error situation. I can see viewing it that perhaps I could have explained it better or differently. The flex situation we're talking about between mechanical flex and electrical contact or electrical contact break it actually is, is also called the effective diameter of the probe tip versus the real physical diameter. Okay. Here's a little drawing showing the internals of the probe. It has a tri-swing arm between uh, three pairs of ball bearings. And this is looking down on the top of it, a plan view. So here's your stylus point. So when this comes in contact with the work, it, it tips or swings. Now the load to tip or swing it in this direction it's, is different from the load to tip or swing it in this direction um, and that's if it was orientated um, in a balanced way with the XY axis but if it was slightly out it, it's, it still wouldn't be balanced because uh, 120 degrees doesn't divide evenly into 90 degrees in this situation so let's just do a little test to show it another way of showing this problem perhaps more graphically, is on an accurately bored hole that I have here, I'll do a little uh, probing demonstration. So what I'm going to do is probe the center. This is just quickly finding the middle of the, of the hole. What I'll do then is jog in the X and in the Y axis. Okay, now we found the middle of a hole. I'll jog in the X axis. We get a value of 8.108. And this means that the effective diameter of the ball would be different between the X and the Y. Um, and because there's only one diameter setting available, you have to have an in-between diameter. So this is an inherent error that, that is inherent in this design. Um, the, I've been thinking there's probably ways that it could be improved. A shorter, stiffer stylus that was say 3mm diameter with a 4mm ball would probably greatly help the situation but it wouldn't completely eliminate it. So just to show it again a bit more graphically I've just realized there's a, um, a setting screen on Pathpilot that's even better for um, demonstrating this. So let's find the middle again. Just probing to find the middle and then we'll probe to find each edge and um, on this page the dimensions will be retained and you can see the error more clearly. This is just one particular rotary position. It will vary from rotary position to rotary position. Okay, so now we're on path pilot. We're going to use the find X rather than the probe X set work origin because we want to know the actual distance. So let's find X here. 
it's giving a value of 9.6. I've already done this, but I'm just repeating it so you can see the point of what I'm doing. It's giving a value again of 9.6. Now we're going to find y. Nine point six two seven. So, you know, this this is quite a serious error. It's point zero two seven. Y in the other direction. Nine point six two nine. So it's nearly three hundredths of a millimeter error. That's a thou in each direction in this particular rotary error, uh, rotary position. So that means that when you're setting the diameter in the tool table, you'd really need a different diameter for the x and the y um, of around about two thou in this case, in this particular position, but it would vary from rotary position to rotary position by a small amount.